Up in the Alpine of northern British Columbia, Josh Bunce is getting an early start to a new day at the Wolverine camp. I like to get up and see the sunrise and do a bunch of before noon. I'm a freak. This summer, Josh has a new objective, to stop giving his parents such a hard time and make himself more useful at the mine. Morning. 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 Josh, at 21, is driven to make his family proud. I'm really happy he's here. I need a coffee. Coffee's an important thing. Minus the blonde hair. Josh, how the hell did you do that? <laughs> I definitely want to help my parents with everything. Truck driving, running equipment, prospecting. Zero knife shopping abilities. Even cooking and stuff. I just take my time, because I want to have all 10 figures. <laughs> OK, breakfast here. Today, Josh is helping Guy and Gary pull up the giant boulder. This is Jake. That they recently found on their new Bullion Creek claim. Holy First one of the year. <laughs> we take that rock out and cut it, and it's good. That's a good start to the season. Oh, my god. This is going to be the million dollar rock. <laughs> Jade makes people do crazy things. OK, we're going to go. It's a big day at camp. The crew is off to get the first boulder of the season. You smoke? You can. While we drive, I smoke too, OK? Josh is driving with William, the supervisor for Claudia's new partner company, NEK. William is in contact with the owners of NEK every day. And with that rock, it's good news that, yes, we've already found a big boulder. Boulder's still there. That's good. That rock's right behind those trees there. OK. One really good boulder. It'll make them really happy. Just spin it and then just grab the back there so we can slide some straps under. I'm going to use double strap. Yeah. OK, tighten up that one. Let's try that. I love it. That's got to be eight tons. Yeah, you can feel her. This rock is heavy. Yeah, and the straps are getting the kicking. That's over 40,000 pounds of straps there. Jade is denser than most rocks, so the weight is a good sign. She's a little heavier than we thought. We want to keep William happy make him happy, then we make the partners happy. I'm liking it, Guy. I'm liking it. Oh, it smells like Jade. <laughs> Bam! Woo! I'm stoked, man. Jiggy leg! I got goosebumps again. Now it's back to Wolverine to cut open their boulder. It could be worth up to $500,000. Let's get the show on the road. Hey, Stuger, is it going to be good? Say it. Sit. Stay. Stay. Today, the final member of the crew is arriving. It's good to be back. It's been a long winter. This is the first time Robin, also known as R2, has been in camp since he and Josh walked away from a serious car accident eight months ago. I was pushing my limits, and I pushed too far. It's going to take me a bit to, to get over it, what I could have done to myself and Josh. R2 took the same first aid course as Josh, so the two of them used this chance to run through evacuation procedures with the pilot. 
just made my OFA level three, which is occupational first aid, because last year when me and R2 experienced that rollover, it just made me a little bit more aware of what we're doing and where we're at. You always gotta have safety first in mind, and uh, we didn't at that point in time. We're gonna do our damnedest to get the individual to the hospital as quickly as we can. Yeah. But that doesn't mean we have to do things incorrectly. Yeah, understood, absolutely. Yeah. Joshua has that personality where um, when he realizes something, he really focuses on it. So Joshua's focusing right now on safety. Okay. It's a little bit nerve wracking being responsible for everyone's medical well being, but you gotta get over it. My intention this year is to be a valuable asset to the team. Come on, R2. Let's go look at the new lay of the land. Yeah. Let's Oh, you never met R2. Nope. This is Will. Yeah. Will, nice to meet you. We have 18 oh. new residences. Holy wow. That's good. We got some bug eaters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and we found one boulder so far. Promising or? I'm not saying much until we cut it. Yeah. What's lacking? Let's lift this shit. Roger that. Gary and I are going to hook the rock up to the bucket there. We'll bring it over to the wire saw and start cutting that rock. I told you. <laughs> I'm thinking it's good inside because of the weight. It's very heavy for its size. Generally means it's a higher quality jade. Woo, gee mama. You're tippy toeing. I call it tippy toeing. He's got so much weight off that rock that the whole back half of the hoe comes off the ground. It's not even touching the back the idlers, the back rollers. That means it's got to be great aid. I'll go with what you're saying, but I have no idea. This is how we started mining season. Cutting the rocks and making money. As long as the rocks are good after we cut them, it's a problem we have sometimes. Mm. They're green, all right. What's going on? How's it look? It's uh, interesting. I like the green where it is green. I like it, but you don't know till you cut it open. This was the top. There's going to be way more showing here once we wash it. Yeah. First happy is when you find a rock. Second happy is after it's cut and it looks good. And the third happy is when it's sold. So now we're going for happy two. To get the best out of the rock, cut it right down the middle. But Claudia's new partner, Peter, wants to cut only a small fraction off. What, Peter sent a text? Peter wants a, a small piece as possible to cut. <sighs> they think that you're cutting their opportunity to sell it for big money in half when you cut it in half. It's a gamble. It's a risk. When you're on a new site, the first one you find, you have to cut it in half so that you know the quality. That's the way we do it. Get to the middle of it and see what the potential is. Are you sure? No question. But it's really important that we keep our partners happy. Claudia decides to follow orders and cut a small window off the boulder. We can start with a small piece and pray to God that a huge amount of it is really beautiful jade. Okay. Robin is convinced this won't be the last cut. The color we are looking at was right here. If it's just that spot, it's not enough. Then we got to do a significant cut. They just want us to cut a little piece off the edge, but that's not going to show us anything. Not good. Are you ready? Yep. Bang her up. At Wolverine, the first boulder of the season is under the saw. A little more up. It's not going fast enough. There you go. The Jade City crew wants to cut it down the middle, but their new partners have a different idea. He wants a small cut, so he's getting a small cut. OK, just hold it there. I would cut at least a quarter of it off right away. That way we know where we're at. Right there is good enough speed. That's maxed out. That's where we want it. The cut's underway, and Josh turns his attention back to safety. Hey, Dad. I'm going to go tape that first aid room up right now, just in case. I'm just putting up some uh, legally necessary notifiers that this is the first aid cabin. You got to have uh, identification of where people are supposed to go when they're injured. Josh was new in this, and he is taking his job very seriously. Doesn't this D look super official? 
I am trained to deal with absolutely anything. You could go from a piece of rebar completely skewering a person through their torso to a hangnail, literally. Bandages, saline, gloves. It's really important to him to prove himself because this is his job to take care of all of us. I have a super defined role in camp now. I am dependent on and I am in charge of first aid and saving people's lives. When I'm interested in something and when it intrigues me, I'm definitely like an all-in type of person. Bang, bang, bang. I'm done. If anything happens, we're good to go. Back at the wire saw, R2 is keeping an eye on the first cut of the season. You never know until you cut it. It looks wonderful on the outside, but uh, yeah, it doesn't tell the truth until it's open. I just shut her down. I don't want to go anymore. I'm afraid it'll fall off. The wire saw has cut through the rock faster than they anticipated, a potentially bad sign. It's only going to need one or two cameras. That's it, eh, hon? It'll break pretty easy, I think. It's coming around. Right there. There's green in there. Not a lot of it. Yeah, it's pretty black already. Frick, Robin. It's not looking good for you. <sighs> it's jade, but it is a low quality jade. Like, really low. Look how solid it is. Why can't it be green and like this? There's not a lot of fractures in it, which is a good thing, but we won't get hardly any money for that rock. And yeah, how deceptive, hey? That nice looking green on the top. But it's the weight. That's the deceiving part. This rock is so heavy. Of course William's disappointed. We're disappointed. It's not what we wanted it to be. Do we go right in the middle? Yeah. I need another cup. Okay. A cut down the middle could expose more jade and crank up the value of this boulder. I'm going to try and uh, put this rock around so we can get a cut down the middle of it. It's a pretty heavy rock to push, so we can't just shove it over. That looks pretty good. Uh, perfect. Hopefully, way better than the first time. Yeah. <laughs> Dad! Josh calls his dad over. He I mean, thinks they're missing a key piece of safety equipment. I need that basket for the helicopter. No, no basket. You put him on a board, you put him in the helicopter. When Josh goes into something, he stays too focused on the black and white instead of accepting some of the gray area. The basket ain't going in the helicopter. Listen to me. Legally, you cannot transport a person on this. OK, it then means they're not going in a helicopter. Legally, you cannot transport a person on this. No, no. I'm responsible for that person until I hand them off to a paramedic. And if I aggravate that injury, I'm, I'm responsible. He's trained. He knows what he's doing. This is a splint. This is a splint. OK, but he goes extreme on things that he doesn't have to go extreme on. The this backboard fits in the helicopter, yeah, so but Josh wants to get a proper rescue basket, just to be safe. What I've been taught, I can't send an injured person Josh. on this. I know, but I need you to understand. I know. It's really important for me to take this really seriously and be responsible and take care of everybody. First aid treatment is not close by. What the is the point of this certification if we can't follow any of the rules or the regulations that are taught in it. What I'm saying is we just deal with the best that we All can right. at the time. Mine Listen, dude, I just took a two-week course. We don't need one here. Well, then I don't want to be paramedic on your site. You know, prospect maybe up this way and then up this way and see if I can find anything. OK, see you in a bit. At the Bullion Creek claim, Josh and Guy are back on the prospecting path. I got my hunting rifle. Strictly precautionary, just in case anything comes out on the trail. But Josh is still trying to shake off the argument with his dad. Well, my dad's always right, whether I like it or not. Whether he's wrong or not, he's right, because he's older and he could fire me. Nope. I wanted to establish my first aid room right away and get it set up. I'm responsible for everybody's safety. but. 
Got to do what you got to do. We're looking for some jade. Well, the jade has a really unique tone to it. And when you find a good boulder, it's really, really obvious. That one's totally different than any of the others. It does sound a lot different. It has more of a thump to it, so. All right, well, I'll mark that one. Marked. Kind of. It'll do. I always want to contribute. I always want to give as much as I can. But first aid, I mean, that's my priority. I need to keep my family and my friends safe, so I'm continuously making sure that I'm close enough that I can strip my gun, strip my bag, and I can be on site in five minutes if I need to, run it as hard as I can through this bush. Just hope that no injuries come up. Whoa. Didn't see that one coming. I am on a roll. Are you OK? Yeah, I just found a little hole. It didn't fall on you at all, though? No, I jumped off before it went. OK, good. Guy has tipped his ATV and luckily isn't hurt. Well, if anything, we're good at falling. No biggie. We just got to put her back on her feet and carry on. <laughs> 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 That's OK. One, two, three. There. Fire. <laughs> Welcome. Later at camp. This one a little harder in the middle? Yeah, a lot harder. The boulder's second cut is progressing slowly. You're not even halfway in, or close to it. The better the jade, the longer it takes to cut, because the harder, the denser it is. So hopefully, if it takes eight, 10 hours to cut this little rock, if it takes four hours, not do pretty good. Have you ever seen anything so crazy? Claudia spots a hopeful sign they're on the right track. Double and it's so bright on the inside and so dark on the outside. <laughs> like it's right there. <laughs> I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful with everything I do, otherwise I don't do it. And right now, a little hope and some luck may be just what they need. Jade at the end of the rainbow. Cutting really slow, so it's looking better. At the Wolverine camp, R2 watches the saw slowly cut through the year's first boulder. Pizza and noodles. And Claudia preps dinner for her crew. Got to get ready for a dinner and get some stuff organized. Claudia has cut herself. Oh, Joshua. And Josh springs into action. Hmm. She lost, like, most of the top half of her fingernail. It's sketchy when your mom's in pain and you got to administer first aid. I need something nonstick. I don't like that Joshua has to take care of me, but to know that he can, I think, is a huge thing. So I definitely want to apply every aspect of my training that I can to alleviate the pain that she's feeling. I'm gonna need some major drugs. OK. I'm so sad. Me too. First accident report. I didn't Claudia think... Barnes. She cut her finger, and Josh had to take care of mom. It's funny that his first patient was Claudia. <laughs> I got a big boo-boo. Just like this. <laughs> How was your pizza? <laughs> The one with no blood in it was good. Yeah, there's a fingernail in it somewhere. Just flick that nail out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was totally eager to get in there and wrap my mom up like that. OK, the blood is spilled. Tomorrow, I want you to find Jade. Claudia, you're, you're off right. dish duty now. <laughs> well, that's all worth it now, because I hate washing yeah. I'm stoked to apply as many facets of my course as I can. Get her finger above her heart in the sling, held up where she doesn't have to worry about it. It may have seemed overkill, but it was all by the book. <laughs> this is a 
once in a lifetime thing. It's throbbing. The next morning, the cutting is done, and it's time to crack open the first boulder of the season. There he is. There you go. You need more than just gee to pull that away now. Well, he said he's tough. <laughs> Show you guys a trick. Look at this. Oh, there's green in it. Wow. Look at the green, though. It's beautiful green. It's jade. Look at it. Yeah, it's the first one, John. Wow, yeah, see, that's got even more translucency yeah. in that one, and like up in the center there. So we know that there's jade there. Yeah. With only a few patches of high quality jade, the true value of the boulder is around $100,000. It's a good start, but Claudia and her crew will need to find a lot more jade. First boulder, jade. Jingling. What is spilled? We need it. It's good. If that's what we got to go through to get low quality jade, we don't want high quality jade. No, yeah. somebody will be losing body pieces. Yeah. yeah. Somebody must You die. might be a little shot in fingers by the end of the summer. <laughs> <laughs> Next time on Jade Fever. People are snatching claims up every day. The objective is to see if there's the right rock types to make jade. Open your web browser. And what the f is that? Why are we doing this again? What's the password? Try Challenger. Nope. Very good chance of a jade lens here. The white shows up pretty good from the air, so there's something there for sure. I'm a hacker. I'm a hacker.